Hello everyone, now I'm going to show you how to export your simulated work as a video. And meanwhile, I'm also show you I'm also going to show you how to open an ODB file. So as I mentioned earlier, so if you have a, a job that is uh, submitted and uh, finished uh, from uh, one to from zero to one, and uh, the software will usually generate uh, these files automatically and all your results are stored in a file called an ODB file. So after the simulation and if you want to go back and check your results again and you can just open your ODB file. Okay, so now I'm going to open an ODB file that I have simulated earlier and show you how to save, this, save the results as a video. So in order to open an ODB file, you need to go to File, Open. And here, instead of using CAE, you should switch to ODB file. And then, so my file is uh, starting in another folder. So I'm going to switch to uh, that folder. See it? You can see here I have the ODB file and click uh, open. So you can see I have a finished job here. So now you can check the results frame by frame. So if you click uh, on the If you click the uh, red arrow on your keyboard, it will go step by frame by frame. So if you want to see the animation, so you can just click this one, animate time history, and you will see your your file is uh, uh, moving from uh, step uh, zero to the last steps that you have created. And each step you have uh, multiple increments. So it goes it goes increment by increment. And if, uh, so if your animation is too fast, so you can just uh, change this frame rate. So you can change it to very slow or very fast and then click uh, apply. Okay. Now you can see if let's change it to slow. You can see it's a uh, goes uh, time increment by time increment, and it's going uh, very slowly. If you change it to very fast. You can see it uh, goes very fast. This, uh, this model is a little bit heavy, so uh, the graphic uh, flash uh, refresh a lot, refreshes a lot. So now if you... Okay, let me change it to a, to a slow speed. Okay. Okay. okay, now you can see it's uh, the animation goes uh, a little bit slower. So, okay, now if uh, I want to save uh, this, uh, re this uh, result as an animation, so I can just go to animate. So before I do that, I want to show you another thing. So here you can see we only have one angle, right? At one time. What if I wanted to uh, check the results in this angle and I mean where I want to show other people what happens uh, in this angle. 
So what you can do is that you can create a viewport. Now you have two viewports, and now I'm going to put them side by side. So you click this one, and then you can see, you click here to switch to this one, and you click here to switch to viewport 2. Now for viewport 1, I'm going to check uh, in this uh, view. And for the, in the viewport 2, I'm going to check it uh, in this view. Okay, let me rotate it a little bit. And now I'm going to, so now if you click this one, uh, animation, so only your active uh, viewport has animation, you can see, right? And if you click here, both your viewpoints will have uh, animation, but they are not synchronized. So in order to synchronize them, what you can do is uh, you need to use this option, which is called a linked viewpoints. So you click linked viewpoints, link, and you can see I'm going to link uh, viewpoint one to link uh, viewpoint two. Apply and click OK. Now you can see these two viewpoints will move at the same time, right? If you rotate this one, you can see the other one will rotate as well. Okay. Now if you click uh, animation for both one for, for both viewpoints, you will see that they will simulate the animation will be synchronized. Okay, and in order to see your animation, you need to uh, make sure your your any your animated time history is uh, active. And now I'm going to animate and uh, see. So here you can put a name, for example, example video. And here we use uh, AVI, and uh, we are going to record videos for both viewpoints, right? And uh, here, you can sometimes you can change the uh, your setting window. I usually use this default one, and for this one, uh, usually I use this one because this is uh, this video uh, compression format is more compatible. And click uh, OK. So here. You can change your rate. If you use a higher rate, it will your video will be very fast. If you use a lower rate, your video will go slowly. And then click uh, OK. You can see you are saving your animation here. So your animation is a uh, starting temp folder, C temp. And now you can open your video. So you, now you can see your temp goes slowly from uh, 0 and uh, to 1 for all simulations. Okay. So basically that's how you export uh, your simulated results as a video.